This is a bonus video where we look around the station and the area after dark. I want to have a look down some of the back streets and alleyways and see what I can find. Up until 2017, Pong used to be open all night and local homeless would use it as a safe space, a sanctuary, a shelter, a place where they could get access to civilised toilet facilities. When the State Railway of Thailand started to close the station overnight, a lot of those homeless took to the streets locally. And this is where we have our problem now. Up until a couple of years ago, this area here outside the MRT station was a place where homeless used to sit and hang around. And then these barriers and tape were put up to stop them doing that. So that makes it one less place for them to go that's uh, safe and well lit. Well, unsurprisingly, it's a bit busier here on a Friday night at Hua Long Pong and there's people actually sitting on the floor, which has been a rare sight in the last week or so that I've been here shooting a video. In the old days, you had backpackers, travellers sitting on the floor, sipping cans or beer in the days when you could drink a can or beer while you waited for your night train up north or down south. The food court has long closed down. They used to be able to hear the clanking of cutlery of people laughing, joking. There was a real vibe about the place that definitely won't be able to be recreated in a place like Bangsu Grand Station. There's a very good reason why this monument is so far out of the station. I'll tell you in just a minute. This is the monument where the opening ceremony was performed in 1896 for the first railway from Bangkok to Korat. Uh, Korat, of course, is Nakhon Ratchasima now. And the original station building was in this spot. And once Hua Long Pong was open, the station building was not used anymore. It was eventually demolished. And in the spot now is the memorial to the first ever royal train. Well, this is probably the last chance I'm going to get to play around on the tracks here at Hua Long Pong. Also gives me a chance to admire this junction crossover thing up close and personal. These used to fascinate me as a kid. These complicated mechanisms sending trains from one track to another. I believe that's called a turnout crossover. If I'm wrong, please put the correct name for it in the comments. And over there is the more attractive looking diamond crossover. In the late 1990s, this area was famous for women who ran food stalls around the station that were also prostitutes and they would get their customers through selling them food. But this area's reputation actually goes back a lot further than the 1990s. If we go down the alleyway across the road behind me, we'll enter a world where there used to be a lot more than just women selling food.
So these back streets, these alleyways, after World War II, they were known as an area where there were brothels, drug dens, gambling houses, that kind of thing. More recently, it's more well known as a place where you can get a cheap room, hostels, hotels, places where you can eat, drink, hang out for very little money. And up until recently, there was quite a bit of a backpackers, travelers vibe around here, but uh, at the moment, it's pretty dead as you can see. Well, I found this hungry cat here and I had one pack of cat food left. So here we are. This is the bridge that goes over the Krung Kasem Canal. And once upon a time, this was the point where two canals met the Klong Toy or the Klong Hualan Pong, as it was also known, followed the route of Rama 4 Road towards Klong Toy. And when Rama 4 Road was widened, that canal was filled in. Up until World War II, this area was pretty run down. There were a lot of slums and shacks and crumbling buildings which were completely destroyed during the bombings of World War II. And in the 1950s, this area underwent a pretty extensive rebuilding process. It was this platform which was the scene of the worst ever rail disaster here at Hua Long Pong when in 1986 a diesel locomotive coming from the maintenance depot somehow picked up speed and crashed into the buffers at 50 miles per hour. Five people died and seven people were injured. The communities here on either side of the line have been living their lives amidst an endless procession of passing trains for many decades and it's second nature to them. And the two communities here, on one side you've got the Wat Bun Niwa community and on the other side you've got the Pahon Bobe Tu community. We're not too far from Bobe Market. Pretty soon they're going to be overcome with a huge sense of silence around here as yet Another passing train comes underneath this bridge, blasting me with a whole lot of diesel smoke. I tell you what, electric trains are the future. You can get back to the railway tracks from Rong Moan Road without having to go all the way to the front of the station. So here I am back at the end of the platforms and someone's just told me a ghost story about the Rajatani Hotel, which is the old hotel in the main railway station. So I'll tell you that when we get back there.
So this ghost story regarding the Rajtani Hotel, one of the entrances used to be behind me by the way. In the 1950s a lot of foreign missionaries used to stay at the hotel and there was a story of an Italian man who was staying there for three months and throughout that whole time he was waiting for his girlfriend or his loved one to come from up north on the train. She never arrived and the story goes that he hung himself and his ghost haunted the room and to this day that room has never been used for anything. I've just noticed this wonderfully heavy table made out of railway sleepers and years ago I had a phase of picking up bits of dumped furniture in the street back in UK and I used to cut them up and make my own furniture and sort of strip the wood down and varnish it, paint it, that kind of thing and there are a thousand things I would do with a table like this but uh, getting it home would be the first job and I don't think Grab would let me put this into the back of one of their cars. That's a shame because it is really good quality wood there. 